PWM signals or the pulse width modulated signals have a wide range of application. And that is why it is so important set of signals. It is not unique, it just switches on and switches off. Like, congener on after some time it comes to logic level 0 or off. So, this, this pattern repeats. On other off other like switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off. It marida the work other. And that gives us square or a rectangular pattern. Yeah, in a wide range of applications or like nerdy applications in the use other update rather in the video. So um most importantly, I want to emphasize on an important factor about uh, PWM signals. So PWM signals, pulse width modulated signals, we know. And here I just want to talk about in terms of uh, power conservation like every power one the pwm use pandanala save panamodio like uh, how much power we can save in terms of using pwm uh, so that is a very important factor why pwm became very uh, useful signal in power electronics um, motor drive and um, in most of the power electronics concepts so uh, like in general if you see a pwm it's a periodic signal it will have some T on period and T off. It can be equal or it can it can also have different uh, way, uh, lengths. If now and let's say we are having a equal uh, t, uh, duration for T on and T off. That means what it is having 50% duty cycle. So duty cycle another duty cycle is nothing but the percentage of time how long it is on. So duty cycle is T on every duration record divided by the total time period into 100 will give you in terms of percentage. Right. So that is all about duty cycle. So 50% duty cycle now when it is having equal amount of T on and T off. Uh, but PWM, you can have varied length of T on also. Like for example, I can have a very small T on and then uh, again T off for the same frequency. Again, like only I'm playing here with the Evelyn era on arc, Abdin Radha Matana, I'm playing, but time period remains the same. So that can also be done. So it's just about how uh, then the duty cycle will be very less. Maybe this is a uh, 20% uh, uh, duty cycle around that. In a Grumba Kami time, kada, it is on based on the exact duration. We can talk about it. Okay. So how you how uh, suppose this is, let's say it's a 10 kilohertz. Uh, uh, PWM signal abdina and arto its frequency is 10 kilohertz it's going very at the rate of 10 kilohertz so what would be its uh, uh what would be its time period so if frequency is 10 kilohertz its time period is going to be 1 by frequency so time period will be uh, let me put a capital t here okay time period would be 1 divided by 10 kilohertz which will give me 0 0.1 millisecond correct 10 to the power minus 3 is millisecond so 0 0.1 millisecond what is 0 0.1 millisecond for this signal in first like uh, implies it implies the one duration one time period one time period is where the signal repeats itself this pattern repeats again again and again so this whole duration is a time period so either full 0 0.1 millisecond from this point until this point for this particular example okay so suppose if it is having a 50 percent duty 50 percent uh, duty cycle na in a 50 percent duty cycle na t on is equal to t off both are equal so that means uh, your t on would be 50 percent time of your total time period total time period is 0 0.1 millisecond so divided by 2 would be 0 point, uh, 0 0.05 millisecond will be your t on so t off would be in that case 0 0.05 millisecond and may equal arc so that means 50 percent duty cycle okay this is a very very basic thing and t on plus t off should give us the total time period so at pana varada 1 millisecond 0 0.1 millisecond yeah that is okay so this is a very very basic thing and frequency will govern how far the signal is moving so either you know the frequency or time period you will be able to interplay with both of it okay now coming to the most important thing i was emphasizing like the power like in the power, uh, is na sola la Like uh, let's take uh, only one time period. One time period at the club. One time period means what? According to this 10 kilohertz signal, it is 0 0.1 millisecond. So 0 0.1 millisecond la. What is the power? Uh, power drawn. How much power is uh, in watts? Envelope power poetka. For example, let us take one condition. Uh, let's say 
the voltage we apply is 5 volt and the current that it is drawing is 1 amperes for example just one for example one case so what will be the power power is v into i which gives you 5 watts okay 5 into 1 so 5 watt will be the power uh, so this power if it is a continuous dc signal continuous dc signal 5 watt will be a continuously drawn for every moment right Ipo, let us take for this pwm signal uh, one time period we have two sets t on and t off so power when it was in t on will be equal to uh, same thing v into i so 5 watts it will be drawing okay so power in t off it will this is for uh, just t on how much time it is 0 0.05 milliseconds it is taking so power drawn in t off another off like more develop power draw so the uh, the voltage is zero right voltage zero and then zero into one amperes will give you zero watt so power drawn will be in the next 0 0.5 millisecond there will be zero power drawn so total for 0 0.1 millisecond what is the total power drawn for 0 0.1 millisecond total power drawn is 5 watt in contradictory in contrary if we see uh, for a continuous dc signal of 5 volts so 5 volts a continuous on or a dc signal let us say let us take only for 0 0.1 millisecond how much power will be uh, drawn for 1 ampere current so for, for the first half also it will take for the first 0 0.05 millisecond also it will take 5 watts power and next 0 0.05 millisecond also it will take 5 watts totally 10 watts power is what is consumed just for this 0 0.1 millisecond if i calculate according to this calculations i mean according to the b and i have given it is taking 10 watts that means if you see the difference very clearly half of the power is saved by using this pwm like 10 watts use uh, uh, is bundle i'm doing it with 5 watts same thing but how is it the same agamudiyo updating now yes it can happen same why because uh, we use switches right uh, switches are what our electronic switches maybe it could be your bjt it could be your mosfet most generally in power electronics we use mosfet because they are more efficient and they are voltage controlled and not current controlled like bjt so this is the most widely used and idore response time na paakumbodhu it is in uh, like uh, it's not very fast it is uh, around in few kilohertz so uh, if you take a uh, if you use a very high frequency pwm like pwm frequency like for example uh, let's say um, let's say a 10 kilohertz only 10 kilohertz pwm kudukumode this mosfet will not be able to detect the t off at all like and in the on off on off on off number faster varadhu adala it will only detect these peaks it will miss these uh, uh, t off because other the response time is not that fast so that's why based on the switching device we are using other the frequency response time n and rather data sheet la paathittu adukeetha mari we can play with them uh, frequency of the PWM and then we can use this and this is why this the, because of this conservation of uh, power this uh, PWM signals have become so 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 useful and very very important okay so number the uh, although the T on is at some high lo high level like 3 volts or 5 volts in nano number the average in park mode the average of the signal is reduced so in the voltage, suppose 5 volts could grow, if it's a 50% duty cycle, we are only getting 2.5 volts effectively, which is L for the reduction in the power. And in the changes, although it's 2.5 volts effectively, but T on is at total 5, 5 volts or whatever is the total voltage, so expected voltage. So when we give it at a very high frequency, this can be used in wide range of applications like MOSFETs, MOSFET or switching time ke madri, we can give a, a suitable high frequency PWM still the switch or the MOSFET will detect it like a continuous signal only but we only know that it's not continuous and that's why the uh, energy is saved and the efficiency is important increased. okay so in the average power uh, and then I'll show you in the demonstration 
how uh, in demonstration i'll be using some 3.3 volt signal so 3.3 volt signal with 50 percent uh, uh, duty pwm la kudukumbodhu how much is the average uh, uh, average of the signal uh, voltage what is the average voltage seen across the signal in the park law so or because it's a over over a time period the average voltage will be what when it's a 50 percent duty cycle it will be half of the voltage 5 volt now it will be 5 by 2 2.5 volts per hour. so if it is 3.3 volts is the total uh, high voltage now for a 50 percent duty it will be 3.3 volt divided by 2 will be the average voltage that will be seen across it okay that's that is the uh, like the average voltage is uh, coming down and uh, its application wise if you will see these uh, switching devices are the applications because uh, because of their response time because uh, it's it doesn't have to like uh, the switch off or uh, switch off or the kind of time because its response time is in such a way that frequency is compensated so, here so that's I have a pwm signal it's a 10 kilohertz pwm signal so to have a clear, a little closer view, see, uh, so either path it's around three, uh, three point three volts amplitude, and the frequency is uh, ten kilohertz. I've generated uh, to cross verify the frequency. How you will do it? Time period there you know. So time period there you know like what is uh, each single box or your duration in like each single box duration is hundred microsecond. So if you will take this particular cycle which starts at this point and ends at this point, correct. So over a box that means the time period of the signal is 100 microsecond. 1 divided by 100 microsecond is 10 kilohertz. So that's why this signal's frequency is 10 kilohertz. So either uh, 10 kilohertz signal but uh, it's a 50% duty cycle. Like every one T on record or T off on record. So what is the unique uh, unique thing that we have seen for this is that uh, is that T on 3.3 volts in the alum, average of the signal will be 50% only 50% of the voltage like 3.3 volts now the half voltage now it's going to be the average voltage of the whole signal. So let us uh, take a multimeter and then uh, measure the signal here itself uh, see the average between the signal and the ground. Upon namka 3.3 volts varda ila half like 1.5 something varda or around 1.7 something should come. So let us take a multimeter and check that. So to cross verify the amplitude also I should have told you. Uh, so one box here for blue color is 1 volt. Okay. I, I sh you should see here is 1 volt for blue color. So there is some zero crossing error. So but look from this point where two is marked. So I'm going to each box let us measure so one, one volt, two volt, three volt, and somewhere here three point some volts. So it's actually three point three volts. There is some zero crossing error and this oscilloscope has some small error. So actually it's three point three volts. See, okay, that's uh, for the understanding. Now let's take a multimeter and check. So it is 0 volts. Now uh, let me take this and put it across this and see. So you can see 1.58 volts. Half of the 3.3 .3 volts is uh, shown in the multimeter. So again, again with light you see ground and the pin where the signals come. Ah, so you can see 1.57 okay 